Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Beacon here, coming at you with another cigar review. Today we're going to be looking at the 2016 Las Calaveras by Crown Teds. This cigar has a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, a Nicaraguan filler and binder. Um, it is made in Esteli, Nicaragua. The one that we're going to be looking at today is the Robusto size, the 5x50. Overall appearance of this cigar is a uh, very well-made cigar. It, it does have uh, some minor veining. Um, I think that's just an issue with this one particular stick. I have seen other 2016 Las Calaveras that did not have this issue, so I'm not going to penalize them for, for that. Uh, overall, 1 through 10, appearance-wise, I would give this about an 8.5. Um, so I'm going to cut this up, and we'll get into it. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm about inch and a half into this cigar. Um, so far, the ash is hanging on. Perfect. The drawer on this cigar is very good. I, I wouldn't say it's perfect. It's a, it's a little bit tighter than uh, what I would consider perfect. I'll give the draw a 9 out of 10. The burn on this cigar, it's burning very evenly. I wouldn't say razor sharp uh, burn, but I'll definitely give the burn a nine and a half out of ten. Smoke output. The smoke output on this cigar is phenomenal. Um, you're getting a lot of heavy like velvety smoke. I would give the smoke output a nine out of ten. So far the flavor profile for the first quarter of this cigar, I would say the flavor profile, I'm getting uh, molasses, uh, a tiny bit of chocolate, uh, spices, black pepper, and the retrohale, you're getting black pepper, but it's not too heavy. Um, it's not too much black pepper on the retrohale. So it's it's very enjoyable cigar so far. Um, I'll get back to you guys at the halfway point. What's going on, guys? I'm back. We're just past the halfway point on this cigar. Ash hung on strong for the first two inches, then fell off on its own. The ash is now hanging on pretty well, um, as you can see. The, the burn of this cigar, the burn's still excellent. I'm still keeping that at a 9.5 out of 10. Um, the, the flavor profile on the cigar, it's changed a little bit, but don't expect an overly complex uh, flavor profile with this one. It, it's still molasses. I'm now getting some earth notes. Uh, the black peppers definitely uh, died down a lot in comparison to the first couple inches of the cigar. The, the body of the cigar, this is definitely a full-bodied cigar. Um, full flavor. The the nicotine strength, I, I'd put it probably right above the, the mid-range level. It's it's not anything that, you know, you're going to be seeing stars with, so that's good. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll get back to you guys on the, the final third and give you my final thoughts on this one. See ya. Alright guys, I'm back. So I'm now into the, the final third of this cigar. Um, the the burn I haven't had any issues with uh, the construction or the burn or a any of that. The, this cigar is burning perfectly. It's a really uh, enjoyable cigar. It's, it's maintenance free. The the flavor profile, uh, the the end of the cigar it's changed a little bit. Um, now I'm getting a lot of earth, white pepper. The black pepper is. Uh, pretty much non-existent at this point. Um, my only issue with this is um, it's now starting to get a little bit bitter. Not so much harsh, but it is getting uh, bitter towards the end. Overall, this is a, a very enjoyable cigar. For the complexity and the profile out of a 10, I would, I would give it an 8.5. It does have good flavor, um, but it, it's just lacking a little bit of complexity throughout the cigar. So for that, I'll give it an eight and a half. 
when it's all said and done, the the overall, when you tally it up, um, I, I would give this an an 89, uh, 89 out of 100. So that being said, I I would definitely give it a whirl. I, I would pick up a couple of them before you go out and buy a whole box of these. My personal opinion, I thought that the 2015 was a tiny bit better. Other people think that this one's a tiny bit better than the 2015, so it's all subjective. Um, the price point of this cigar, it, it's going to run you about between $9.50, $10 per stick. But yeah, if, if, if you're out there and you find a couple of these, I would say definitely snag them up. They are, uh, it is a, an enjoyable cigar. So until next time, guys, see you then.